All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. For those of you who are thirsty, it is Thursday. What are we talking about today? Well, you know, I've said it before, but uh, the first year of this show, uh, I tried to do very little or no repeats of even artists but now we're in year year two what am i at 650 episodes or something like that that's a lot of me apologies for this, to the to you for that uh but there might be there just might be someone out there on one of my platforms that is watching for the first time today so uh there are going to be some repeat topics uh from season one just because as i said with pyromania uh sometimes the anniversaries come around and they're just too good to ignore And that is the case with today's record all over my news feed this week is uh, the anniversary of this band's record. So we are talking about Alice in Chains dropping the EP Jar of Flies on January 25th, 1994. One of my all-time favorite records. I'm rocking the Alice in Chains t-shirt with a little bit of flannel flair for you. Uh... This record, boy, right out of the gate, I was just like, what is going on here? So different than their previous record, Dirt. Uh, This is just, this was just so good. Uh, It was their third EP, actually. They're coming off of their second, in their second acoustic EP. uh, Their first one being 1992 Sap. This was the first EP in history to debut at number one. It sold 141,000 copies its first week, going on to sell 4 million worldwide. Uh, This thing was self-produced, written, recorded, all in one week in Seattle. The story is uh, they were coming off that dirt tour uh, in Lollapalooza, I believe, and uh, they had fired their bassist, Mike Starr, for drug use, uh, and they had hired uh, Ozzy Osbourne's bassist, Mike Ines. Uh, to do some work so they get home from their tour they hadn't paid rent Uh, they were evicted and they were homeless so they moved into a studio not sure how that happened after a huge tour but anyway uh, they went into a studio and just with nothing written no plans they just wanted to see what the vibe was with the new bassist they wanted to do something acoustic they didn't know if they were going to be putting anything down and they end up writing and recording and doing all this in a week they didn't use pro tools in the studio uh, they just used a analog and they because they thought it's the acoustic guitar sounded so good so they did a lot of work with the microphones onto where those were placed and they put out just a beautiful record i mean this i cannot say enough about this record um and so if you have not heard this record before that's what you're doing today but there are so many good songs here it's uh, actually they're all good you can you can listen to all uh, all the songs on here front to back and uh you just play it in the background while you're working uh and it's just it's just really that good so uh, i remember when i got the cd i used to have a cd of uh a promotional one that had actual little plastic flies in the in the in the end of the cd case i don't know if i have that in the cave here anymore anyway that was pretty cool but uh alice in chains one of my favorite bands of all time so i yes i am a little biased here but if you're not uh, into listening to Alice in Chains because of the heavy stuff. Well, today is your chance to listen to their EP because it's acoustic. Uh, what do we got for tracks on here? We got Rotten Apple, Nutshell, I Stay Away, so good, No Excuses, awesome. Uh, Whale and Wasp, I really enjoy that one. That one's really uh, different and down there. Uh, Don't Follow and then Swing on This ends up on a high note. This is some kind of funky song on the, at the end, uh, but boy hard to pick a favorite track on this record if i'm doing a song of the day and you're forcing me to pick a song then we're gonna have to go with nutshell uh again i can't say enough about this record what do you guys think about alice in chains wish i'd seen them in concert uh but again i know for some of you out there it is your favorite uh band or your favorite record and uh he would go on and do remember we talked about mad season that side project lane staley and that voice oh that voice <sighs> this is good solid stuff right here so that's what you're listening to you're listening to alice in chains jar of flies and you're going to comment below again i always love it when someone has never heard a record before and then they listen to something and they comment or they don't remember listening to something or never listened to the whole thing or it's been a long time and they listen to it so keep those comments coming 
and as usual, I catch on the flip side.